Hello, welcome to this uh, little tutorial on how to make tassels. So as we can see here, this beautiful tassel is made using the Knotty Do It All board and some of your Eslon that comes in your kit. So tassels are really, really um, great thing to learn anyway, because they're so on trend at the minute. So you can add them into all of your, your sort of like jewelry makes, but also into your clothing and your homeware. So the things that we're going to need, we're going to need a thread zapper just to cut through the, the last thread at the end. We're going to need a pair of scissors to cut through the uh, the actual tassel to make cut all the loops and we're going to need one of our knotty boards okay so how I've set my knotty board up is I've got a pin um, over to the side these two pins here are telling me how long my tassel is going to be so you can see in this instance I've got a five inch tassel that's going to be made here. I always suggest that you make them slightly longer than you need because you can always trim them back rather than making it too short and it's spoiling the design of the piece. And then we've got a crocodile clip um, which is going to hold the end of our um, S on. So I'm just going to move the Marla necklace out of the way and I'm going to bring in my fabulous cord that we can see here okay so this is the cord that comes in the kit for the um, black rutile quartz so it's a gorgeous um, like almost like a hot pink it's beautiful so what we're going to do is we're going to pop the reel of Eslon over the end peg that's away so away from the two which we're going to wrap around and what we're going to do is we're going to just clip the Eslon into the crocodile clip now what we need to do now is we need to start to wrap this around here. So what we're doing when we're, this is what's going to cause the volume or create the volume of our tassel. Okay, so they're just going around and depends on how many times you go around, depends on how um, thick your tassel will be so this is obviously something that you can think about um, at the end how, how what you what you want your tassel to look like so I'm just going to go around just a few more times and what we're not doing is we're not pulling tight so we're not pulling these pegs in a little bit so there's no tension on the pegs because obviously we have to take this off the pegs in a second so again, just going around a few more times. I always like to um, have quite chunky tassels because I think that they really add <clears throat> something so beautiful to the to the piece itself. But if you're doing these for like earrings or a bracelet, then you may not want as much cord going in there. So meter wise as well, they do the, the tassels do take quite a lot, quite a few meters of of your Eslon. So just make sure that you've got enough before you start on your reel. But this reel that I'm using now has made the tassel for the finished piece, all the knots in the finished piece, and a small demo piece plus this tassel. So you can see on one of these Eslon reels, you do get so much. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I think that's going to be a nice, nice thick tassel. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clip that over into there and I can take the end here and I'm just going to cut cut that away so we, what we can do now is we can remove the pin with the Eslon on it and what we're left with now is we're left with like a loop if you like almost like a hank of wool if, if, you, if you know what a hank of wool is so you can see there it's just gone round so we've gone around those pegs in the same direction try not to cross them over as in like figure of eight cross them over okay so we've got our um our eslon ready now if you don't have a knotty board 
you can use a tassel maker so again a tassel maker is something that just got two pins that you just wrap around you could use something like um, a piece of cardboard um, two pieces of cardboard and just wrap around and around and around the, the cardboard or something like a, a store card credit card or your phone if you've got a smartphone anything that's just that you'd be able to slide this off the end so don't use anything that's got sort of like larger ends top and bottom so you're wrapping around something around the waist of something because you won't be able to get this off in the end unless you can cut that down if it's a piece of um, cardboard so now what we need is we need a piece of the jewelry that we've that we've made so in this case i've just made a very small demo piece so this are, these are my marla knots so if you've got the marla knotting dvd you'll be able to see how to make these marla knots in between and then i've used one of the larger um rutile quartz as my guru bead in this case so all four strands have gone through there now what i need to do is separate the the four strands into their two pairs again Okay, so I've got my two pairs. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. If um, if you can't see where you're going down to the end, you could put these onto one of the blue needles that come in the um, in the knotty board. So we could thread those through, just thread two of them through the needle, and then bring the needle up through the middle, like so. Or if you didn't have the the needle, then obviously you can um, just use you know just just poke them through the end. <clears throat> so what we want is we want our necklace or bracelet wherever this tassel is going to be attached to at the bottom. And you can see now that I've got two that are coming up through the middle of my tassel and two that are on the outside. Now this knot that we're going to tie now to attach the tassel to the piece. We really would like that on the inside of the tassel, but we can manipulate that round if you need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie an overhand knot and try and get it so that it's directly underneath that large bead. And I'm really pulling quite tight so that it doesn't move. It doesn't matter where on here that we're going to tie that because obviously when we take this off in a second it's all going to be um, one big loop anyway so it doesn't matter whereabouts on here we, we actually tie it and again I'm going to just do another knot over the top. Now if you if you want to make doubly sure you can pop a little bit of glue on there as well that won't hurt at all just to pop a little bit of glue. I wouldn't use any kind of super glues though I would use a glue that's um, suitable for fabrics or like a jeweler's glue so something like your hypo cement or your e6000 would be perfect okay so that's now attached to here so what we can do now is we can undo our crocodile clip and we can take off the actual tassel itself okay so what we have now is we've got our tassel attached to the inside of our loop okay so it looks a little bit messy at the minute but you can just saw all that through just to make sure that it's all nice and level so we can see now I've um, got that tied in place I've sorted out all of the um, loops so that they're all roughly the same size at the bottom here but what we need to do now is we need to pop on the little bit around the top which is going to keep this tassel nice and tight so that none of these elements can move. So we can see that we've got that knot situated into the middle. We can fold the tassel around there. And we're going to make sure that all these elements now are now sitting nice and straight. Okay. So we can sort them out at the end, but it's better if we start with them nice and straight. We're then going to take a little bit of our Eslon again. So again, this is probably about 10, 12 inches of Eslon that I've got. And what I need to do is holding my tassel in my hand, I'm now going to make a loop, make a loop at the top of this tassel, at the top of this piece of cord sorry I'm going to place that over the top of the tassel now if 
this is the first time you've had a go at this. What I suggest is, if I just move that to the side, when we use, when we make the loop, we have one side that's longer and one side that's shorter, okay? On the shorter side, just tie a knot so you can find this piece easier. Now, if you're doing this in two different colours, so you, the sort of like the the tie at the top of the tassel is in a different colour, it's easy to find because obviously a different colour. But if you just tie a little knot in the end there, you'll find it easier to locate that piece in a second. So I've got one longer piece, one shorter piece with a loop at the top. So bringing back my tassel, making sure that it's all sitting nice and straight. I'm going to place the loop on top of the tassel that's it to make sure it's all nice and straight and I place this loop on top of the tassel with the short end with the knot on it in my hand here okay now I'm going to take the longer end and I'm just going to just make sure that that's in the middle again it's really important that everything stays nice and still and that we start with it perfect as, as much as we can. So I'm going to take the longer end of this cord and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to wrap around the cord and the tassel keeping these loops nice and straight up towards the loop so you can see that each wrap round I'm just putting my thumb over the top so it stays nice and tight okay so again depending on how many wraps you want to do it depends on how big this sort of like waist section will be the bit that's going to stay at the top so I've got about five or six wraps there I'm going to take the end of this now I'm going to go through the loop okay now changing hands I'm now going to find the end with the knot in it because that end now what this will do is I'll try and show you as I pull let's move my hand out of the way so you can see as I pull the end with the knot in it what will happen is the loop <coughs> is going to go back underneath these wraps so you can see there the loops now gone underneath those two wraps and I can take both ends and pull tightly. That now has secured that tassel in place. You can spend just a little bit of time making sure that everything's neat and tidy, that nothing's sort of like gone out of place. But there you can see that you've now got that little waist where it needs to be. Okay. Now, if you want to do it again at this point, you can do. You can undo that and start it again. But the one, the piece with the knot in it now has gone into the actual tassel itself. So the only thing that we need to get rid of is this part here. Okay, so I'm just going to take my thread zapper and just thread zapper that off. And then all we would need to do is cut through all of our loops at the bottom. So I'm not going to do that now, but you just take your scissors give it a little trim just so that they're all the same length and I'll just bring back the finished piece because what we need to do to finish with is we need to immerse this into water okay so when we put it into water what that will do is relax all these fabrics into a nice straight line don't be tempted to try and iron it or use your hair straighteners or anything like that because you will melt it so you can see how this one is quite sort of like curly and unruly and this one is now nice and straight and that's just because it's been immersed into the water and <clears throat> allowed to just let those fibers relax in in the tassel and there you've got your beautiful tassel attached to your marla necklace without the use of any sort of like findings or anything like that so you're just going to do your marla necklace or do whichever project you want leave enough tails on the end length of tails just to be able to tie this in place make your tassel on either your knotty board your tassel maker or around your phone or something like that um do your little sort of like noose knot at the top 
to hold it all in place and all these are really firmly in place now so it becomes an integral part of this design. So if you have any problems just get in contact with me I am on Facebook JM Guest Designer Fleur Hastings and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to take a few photos now just to end this video just so you can see um, in detail how the tassel looks. Many thanks.